Well, it's 7.30, and I'm getting out the driveway with the sprayer. I wish I was a little earlier, but I brought the pickup and the uh, header trailer down. Gonna try to go get the beans sprayed while the wind is just right. And then cut some more wheat this afternoon. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. Alright, it's the next morning. We are servicing the combines. I think in some videos and years before I've said that Nathan services the combines a lot of time. Well, Nathan's also our main sprayer guy, so he's actually out spraying this morning. And uh, I'm doing the service, servicing with Dad. Got the 9610 over there. It actually needed its alternator repaired, so uh, we've been working on that. And then we got the 9770 across the road here. We, we cut this field yesterday, and then last night moved across the road. This is a 240 acre patch across the road, so we're gonna be on here probably the most of the day for sure. So we're gonna get this, uh, get this combine greased and the filters blown out. We already got it fueled up. Dad's working on fueling that one up as he's working on the alternator. So hoping to get them both going here pretty quick. See how big of a day we can have today. Hello, this is Brooke Anna. Um, I am on meal duty today. So I was just gonna take you along with me while I do that and get that ready. Um, and then when we take it out to the field. Today, I'm gonna be making the Doritos chicken casserole that I've made um, in past years. It's kind of become one of my classic harvest recipes because um, it's just always a good option. I'm using canned chicken this time. I really don't like cooking chicken. It just makes a lot of extra effort to have to cook something before you can then cook it in a meal. So I'm using canned, but I'm just separating it all out so that it's shredded. She don't want it all clumpy in the casserole. And I already have the corn and then part of the cream mixture in there. Add our spices. Oh, my salt shaker's running out. before we put it in the oven. I ended up doing an extra layer of Doritos just because you can never have too many Doritos on the casserole. So we'll bake it and then pack it up and head to the field. I finally got my cattle stuff done uh, by like 11 to 11.30. Now I got the end up taken off right there. Put this truck, putting the hopper on because we're done binning seed wheat. Uh, I'm gonna put the hopper on because this is the better trailer to go to the elevator with. And uh, then I'm gonna, I got some tools I gotta take uh, Dad and Greg. Okay, so I got everything loaded up. Uh, my mom had taken Brighton to uh, the library for a story time hour, um, which was really nice because it's really hard to corral her and keep her entertained while I'm trying to cook lunch and get it all packed into the car. So that was really nice to um, not have to worry about her and the food. Um, but we are headed out now, and I think everybody's at the same field. I don't think anybody's off doing anything um, else. I had to pick up a part. Um, I think Nathan for Nathan for the planter. Honestly, I don't know. I kind of forgot what he told me. Um, so I picked that up, and then I'm headed out to the field. So it's all going. Well, I guess we'll see how things have gone thus far when I get out there and I can talk to them. We told Brighton that she gets to ride along in the combine today. And so I think she's really excited about that. She's very aware um, of seeing combines and tractors and semis. And um, she knows that that's what daddy does. And she's a big fan. So it'll be fun to watch. Uh, harvest kind of through her perception um, just because this is the first harvest that she'll be really uh, more aware of what's going on and um, she's learned a lot since fall harvest and obviously she was just a little baby by then so um, yeah it'll just be fun to watch 
watch her and she, I know she'll love the um, combine ride, so. And we are off and running. Here we go. Day four begins now. Brooke Anna's here with the food. Get you some baby wipes, get cleaned up. Baby wipes are a farmer's best friend. Multi, multi use, multi use. Hey here. Brighton, did you miss me? Are you ready to ride in the combine? The combine's right over there. Yeah, we, we she, she was watching both of it. Made there it goes. Mm -hmm. We can go ride in it together. Oh, you got Would you like that? Too. Got my lunch. Thanks for Canna and Brighton. Made it to the field. Kendall's in the grain cart, got him fed. <laughs> I guess I should do a review of the plate. So we got the casserole. Green beans, brownies that Riley made, cheese stick, and you already ate all your fruit, so. I would like some more though. Oh. It was good. There is more. <laughs> Brighton's just along for the ride. Did you just get back from, or what did you just get back from doing? Hauling the stroller. It looks very different there. Oh yeah, they took out some, some old uh, steel bins. Kind of, kind of freaks you out when you've been there a million times. Greg just switched Nathan off of the 9770. I'm about to switch Dad off. So we kind of ate in shifts. And we got another semi ready to line the screen for another semi is ready to go to the elevator. Combine. What do you think? Is that pretty cool? Is that grandpa over there? Is that grandpa? Is that grandpa driving the combine? There goes the neighbor's semis past our two semis. We're kind of hogging the road over there. Are we hogging the road? <laughs> Did you say wheat?
Well, I just uh, flew the drone for you guys. My battery died way off over yonder. I was trying to get the uh, the baler baling straw. That's uh, Evan, our, our neighbor running the baler. So I was trying to get him before my battery died. Then my battery died. So I had to had to drive all the way over there and find the drone before he bailed it up in a round bale. But uh, they finished this little three corner patch while I was gone. So I'm gonna, gonna dump this grain cart over on the semi where mom's standing over there and then hopefully that's full and she can take that to the elevator and then I'll run over and get their, get their dumps. Okay, we finished another one of the hills and Terrence is here. And then we got across into Nathan's field, then cut up the hill, and then we'll be back on Terrence's. But it's easier to cross here than it is to cross the water draw area over there. So, we got some stuff tested 13.4, some stuff tested 10.5. Um, so, we're probably going to leave this field, but we want to fill, fill a truck the rest of the way first. Pick up. It's, it's about two or three inches high. Yeah. Than the clock. Oh, made it. <laughs> well, I got a hold of you. <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'm not much good anymore. <laughs> no, you're well, fine. fine. I'm glad you come out. <laughs> okay, Dad switched me off in the 90s Ace 10. I'm going to get to move around a little bit. Okay, so I parked that truck. Uh, I'm hopping in this Tempty. Uh, we got two combines cutting on the hill of Nathan's Field now. big old field we're we're gonna have to leave the the lower parts um, they're still green the moisture still a little high uh, so we're gonna maybe cut two-thirds total of the whole field and then we'll have to come back later uh, for the rest of it she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes let's get that dirty window out of the way Oh, you'll make it. Oh, I think he's dropping off. Burkan is getting brightened back. He's a little full. Let's get my air conditioning back. So, Schooler took out some old steel buildings through here. I'm wondering if they're going to put up some new concrete ones. Here at the elevator. Run, kitty! There's a cat amongst all these wheat trucks. Can you say hi? Hi. Good job. I got my little helper. We're trying to compile the wraps here for dinner. And they're turning out pretty good, but I'm kind of short on time, so I haven't really vlogged much of dinner. <laughs> You're having a little snack, and then we'll be taking it out here soon. All right, I'm back from the elevator. I don't know if you can see in front of me, both of the, both of the combines are on the road here. Looks like they're still, uh, looks like they're still I feel like the semi over there. We're gonna move a couple miles down the road this way. All right, mom is gonna take that to the elevator. And Evan's bringing the grain cart. Also, somebody missed a spot. Must have been Nathan or dad. Uh, I think we're gonna get that down to the next field because the one combine needs fuel. And uh, I'm going to take the semi here. Okay, as far as I know, Nathan and Dad are in the combine, and Evan is in the green car.
It's supper time or dinner time, whatever you want to call it time. Brighton, you getting ready to go drive something? You getting your food wolf down so you can go drive? So like, come on, Dad. I'm ready. There she goes. I think you need some jeans on so the stubble doesn't hurt your legs. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> she don't care. Rokana brought uh, roast beef and tur yeah. ham wraps. Not together. Some are roast beef, some are ham. And then like a, like, like a, well, you probably talked about it already. Briefly, pasta salad, wraps. And cookies, more cookies from Riley. Are we unloading on the go? Where's, oh, where's, oh, the, wheat, oh, where's oh. the wheat going? Where's the wheat going? There is the wheat. <laughs> Can you say wheat? Can you say wheat? Say wheat, 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 wheat. Oh, beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> there goes Greg. He just dropped us off. We're gonna head home because it's almost bedtime, huh? You say bye, Daddy. You wave at him. Bye. Good job. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, Daddy. Great job. Okay, Evan's getting in place here. Um, cutting on these straightaways. Nice thing about my field, way easier cutting pads than the last two fields we've been on. Everything's a straight line. So I had two toddlers riding with me, not at the same time, that would have been insane. Uh, back to back, my daughter and then our friend who my wife was babysitting. Uh, lots of singing in the cab, uh, but now I gotta unload, so we gotta let you go. Okay, there goes Evan. To dump on Nathan over in that corner so he can be off to the races to the elevator. Cutting some of our uh, thinner wheat. Look, this again is wheat after soybeans, and it's uh, this soil's maybe not quite as good, or we're not, we're not really sure why this field isn't producing like it should, but it's gonna go pretty quick because it's so short and thin. play the lights game with our neighbor Scott or maybe it's Ken or his dad. Kendall already lost. I can see he turned his lights on. You can't see him from here but Kendall already lost. Dad's still playing. Dad's in the grand cart. He hasn't turned his on yet. We're gonna see who uh, who gets first place in the lights game. Now I don't know I don't know if anybody else uh, on the internet grew up playing the lights game or even knows what the lights game is. The lights game is um, a contest of whoever is last to turn their lights on. So you're basically holding out as long as you can, you know, as it gets dark and whoever turns their lights on last wins. Now here's the thing about the lights game. Uh, it's only fun if the other people don't know you're playing because then you get to win and you know, it's just more fun that way. If everybody's playing the lights game, then no one wants to turn their lights on and it gets dark and it gets kind of annoying because nobody can see anything. But the lights game is most fun when other people don't know you're playing and they turn on their lights and then you're like, ha, I beat you in the lights game. We'll see if, if the neighbor knows we're playing. Dad definitely doesn't know we're playing, but the reason why we started the lights game growing up as kids is because we always, we always just thought it was obnoxious how long dad would wait to turn on his lights. I mean, it would just get so dark and dad still wouldn't have his lights on. So dad's been playing the lights game before he knew it was the lights game. I think he's just really conservative, really, you know, efficient, doesn't want to waste any, uh, you know, energy by turning on the lights. That's just, that's just classic dad. Dad doesn't like to, you know, overuse anything. So why, why turn on your lights if it's not totally dark yet? All right, Kendall's lights are on. Scott's lights are on. My lights are not on. I win. I am the winner. Time to turn them on. Boom. Here we go. We don't all uh, after dark very often. 
so I'll be headed home in the dark. But there's a pretty good rush of trucks from 9 to 10, I'm sure. Especially when there's a chance of rain. Elevator closed at 10, chance of rain at 1 a.m. We got some wind and not much humidity. I think people will be cutting late tonight. We're gonna cut as late as we can. Okay, we're still trucking. Greg finally turned on his lights. Uh, we don't have very much left. You can kind of see the edge over there. So I think Greg's gonna drive to the field across the road and start on it. This is this was our biggest amount of wheat all in one on one road. So within about three miles. So we have another wheat field to move to that we can keep cutting on tonight. My field unfortunately did not need very many trips to the elevator. Sad. Man, look at this lights action over here with the oh, my camera won't focus. The combine and the grain cart are lighting up my my view right now. Okay, dad just got me unloaded. Now he's gonna head over to Greg. Okay, Greg hit a skunk, and I think his combine smells worse, but I can smell it even behind him by like 100 yards. Uh. Made it back with the semi. Kendall just finished up his field over there, and then this 80 is right next to it. So he just had a quarter mile to drive. Hopefully you can see that driveway, it's hard to see. It's kind of a narrow driveway. Totally nailed it. Wheat harvest after dark. lights in the tractor and grain cart which I thought had made me the winner but he has now shut his lights off because he's waiting on a load from one of us and so he is the goat of the lights game it's been like this since we were kid lights aren't necessary why use lights if you're not if you don't need them so he wins I guess Further update on the lights game. Well, actually, this wouldn't be the lights game. This is who's working the latest. We uh, just quit for the night, and our neighbor is still bailing alfalfa. This is a different neighbor than Scott. But shout out to our neighbor across the creek. Almost midnight. Good job. I was saying how we beat our one neighbor at the lights game, but our other neighbor is still bailing off alpha so he wins whatever game that is but hey we had a pretty good day yeah we did thanks for watching everyone check out our music videos linked in the description you can also follow us on facebook instagram tiktok twitter snapchat and explore our website www.petersonfarmbrothers.com see you guys next time